channel. Now I have not been in front of this light in so long guys. I mean, I'm not even sure what angle to use and where to go. It has been so long since I have sat in front of these ring lights. I mean, gosh. But I just decided tonight, guys, I'm going to moisturize my hair. So we're going to just do a quick chit chat. Moisturize with me as part of Vlogmas Day 19. So I am hoping that you all will stick around and see how I moisturize my tresses. So on Sunday, I showed you all one of the ways that I did condition my hair. And I have not moisturized it since that Sunday because things got a little crazy. So I'm gonna do the moisturizing tonight. So I just figured, you know, why not just record it and share it as part of Vlogmas for day 19. So we're gonna just do a little chit chat in the meantime. What can we talk about today, guys? Um, let's just talk about life. Just talk about everything that goes on. You know, today I kind of had a little, a little moment. A little moment today that I kind of was just so quiet at work because you know I, I couldn't help but thinking that there are so many different types of people in the world guys I mean so many different types of people in the world man <laughs> I am NOT even gonna go into details because honestly, I don't know who is going to be looking at this video. So, but let me just tell you, you know, sometimes you just expect so much. And then you have to just realize that your expectations may just be so, so out of reach. You know, so far from being reality and so far from coming to, you know, what do you expect? So, you know, you have to just accept that there are a variety of different people with different personalities, different mindsets, you know, and, and when you look at it, I guess that's what make the, makes the world go round, is the different personalities, the different types of people that we have, and everyone can't be the same, you know, but with those differences it makes you you know wonder is something wrong with me is something wrong with me because you know you feel like you feel sometimes like you're the odd one out honestly you really sometimes feel like you're the odd one out and you know it's it's weird okay but for the living we're gonna be using the shea moisture Jamaican black castor oil leave-in conditioner we put you know it's something runny so we just kind of dip I just normally dip my hands shake a little bit and put about this much into each section of my hair I work it in nicely and now normally guys for the oil I normally use a small bit of my castor oil but I am running low on my castor oil so I'm using it mostly for my face these days so I'm gonna be using some vitamin E oil it helps very well with split ends so I'm gonna just put one two little drops per section and I'm gonna put it mostly to the ends of the hair because I really don't need that much guys because when I did the conditioning treatment, a lot of the oil stayed in there, so I really don't need that much. And then I am going to just seal it all in with my DIY Shea and Cocoa Butter Cream. Just this much. Rub that in. So light finger detangling. And then just detangle and we're good to go so guys yes but yeah and then I came home from work this afternoon and I took off my hair because I had in two oh gosh I forgot to take up a photo with the hairstyle from today but I had in two flat twists in my hair so I took it off and I kept wondering you know what should I do with my hair 
And guys, let me tell you, I picked up that pair of scissors and I was just so determined and I was just saying, you know what, I'm gonna just cut it off. Because I'm getting so tired of doing this all the time. Having to moisturize, having to put the hair up. It makes my little fingers and my little hands hurt. Okay, so when, I'm getting, when I get to the end, I'm just going to hold it around here, twist it, and then just twist it on itself. So it forms like a little bantu knot right here. And that's it. Yes, guys, I tell you, I mean, I, I held on to that scissors this afternoon and I said, you know what, I am going to cut off my hair. And not really cut it off, like really, really short, but I had started to get so tired of the ends always being so rough. I mean it's it can be a little frustrating and I think I, I I'm tired <laughs> I'm really tired guys so I'm really really making an effort to do this moisturizing right now because I know my hair needs it and when I don't moisturize my hair properly it just gets messy so at the end of it I just decided you know what the ends being that way might very well be my fault so I'm just gonna suck it in, just forget about it, and moisturize this hair. And I figured it would just give me a chance to just speak to you all a little bit. And uh, yeah. I'm already tired, guys. <sighs> I'm already tired, I'm already tired. But you know guys, what led me to just say that there are so many different types of people in the world. It's something that happened today that I kind of was very, very disappointed about. I mean, I, I kind of expected differently. So when it happened, it kind of just, it kind of just really disappointed me today. And I mean, I, I was shook. I was really shook. But at the end of it, you know, I just kept quiet for the entire day, basically. I just kept quiet, kept to myself a little bit and just, you know, just basically sat there analyzing, just analyzing, observing and just thinking. But in all that thinking, I did some praying too. So, you know, by the time I left work, I, I felt better, I felt okay. And then I just, there's nothing you can really do. So... I just figured, you know what, today is one day, it ended today and we just look forward to another day and just know that at the end of the day you can't change, you can't change everyone, you can't change people if they don't want to change. And you know, different people act differently to different situations, so the way I act to a particular situation is not the way someone else will act. So you know, the expectation that how I may react, maybe how somebody else should react, then that's, that is not so guys. So, you know, more and more, I'm just becoming more accepting of it and just understand that different people see things differently and react to things differently and treat things differently. And that's never gonna change. So I have to just continue to do what I think is me, do what I think I want to do, and then just accept everyone else for who they are. And once you get to that acceptance, and once you get to understand that, then you just move along. You don't necessarily have to accept what is going on. You don't necessarily have to be in agreement with it. But at the end of the day, you have to understand that each person is different and you can't want someone else to do things or to think the way that you think because that is how you would have done things or that is how you think it should be done you know and more and more I am becoming more accepting that every person is different and everyone will do things differently so I'm gonna be me and I'm gonna let them be them and that's basically what it is 
so yeah that's that um one of the things i wanted to tell you all about again guys it has been so difficult for me to do a hair tutorial for you all i mean i tried stretching my hair that is why i had not done the moisturizing because i think when i put in my creams and the stuff it really just curls my hair right back up so i kind of wanted to stretch it when i did the deep condition on sunday but it was so dry when i took off the twist this afternoon that i couldn't i really couldn't go ahead with doing a, a style because it was too dry and i don't find it was stretched enough and i couldn't go another day of stretching it without putting some moisture in so I really am trying guys so after I do this moisturizing session tonight I will see if it is okay by maybe Thursday or Friday Friday would be a good day because I normally like styling up my hair nicely for work on a Friday so if I do get to stretch it a little better I may do a style that I can share with you all later during the week as part of vlogmas because I really wanted to get a style to you all i have and i think i have an idea of something that i want to do and i really want to try it and i really want to incorporate that as a video to put out there for you guys so after tonight's moisturizing session i'm gonna really see if it's gonna work out and then if it does work out i will do a recording of the style by maybe thursday night and i could possibly share it with you all on Friday. See how different it looks already, guys. Yep, super moisturized. guys when I do this my hair is super soft but like I said it's it's exhausting it's really really exhausting and oh I think there's something in my eye just one minute guys oh. Oh, an eyelash. so you know at the end of the day when I come from home from work I, I sometimes don't want to sit here doing this I want to just chill, just relax, have some wine and just chill. I don't want to have to be always worrying about twisting up my hair or moisturizing or plaiting it up at the end of the day so that it does not get dry or it does not get hard. It's just so, so exhausting. But at the times when I don't do this or I don't at least twist it up or braid it up at the end of the day I feel the effects the next morning so I get up the next morning and I am more frustrated than I was the night before about twisting because then it's worse so I just decide you know what I'm gonna have to just do what I have to do and just get back to the point when I did not mind doing it guys because at one point I used to love doing this enjoy doing this but oh gosh I don't know I don't know it is really difficult to explain <laughs> it's just exhausting so doing it all the time is just so tiring and it's so time-consuming and oh gosh but guys I love my hair so I guess I gotta do what I gotta do right it's not gonna be all pretty and long and beautiful on its own you have to put a little love into it as well so I guess you gotta do what you gotta do so I'm just gonna finish this up guys and then I will come back to show you the end results so see you all in a bit I knew if I had put this entire thing into the video it would have been way 
too long. But this is the end result. Hair is nicely moisturized. This is the shaded hair right here. Pretty cool, not much at all. So guys, oh, I'm exhausted. See what I mean about the exhaustion? So now it's just to put on my headscarf and then go to bed. Yeah, because right now I am super, super tired. See that shine? It's so shiny and stuff, right? Oh, I love my hair when it behaves. <sighs> But guys, I am thinking of doing a question and answer video, so if you do have any questions for me, be it on hair, life, anything, whatever question you want to ask me, just go ahead and put it in the comment section below that I can include in the question and answer video. It is going to be my first question and answer video, so guys, I'm hoping that I don't get bombarded with too many questions, although if I do, I will have to just split it into more than one video, which will be totally cool because I want to answer all the questions that you have for me. So just let me know what questions you want to ask in the comment section below so that I can include them in the video when I do that Q&A. So guys, thank you all for sticking with me. Thank you all for hanging out with me tonight while I moisturize my hair. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye!